Hi, this is Julie with Be Holic, and in this show and tell video, I want to show you crystallette spikes and buttons. These are really pretty and they're a great element to incorporate into your jewelry designs. I'm going to show you a few of the finished pieces or works in progress first and then show you the actual items. So this is a bead woven necklace by one of our designers, Kat, and she used the little spikes and also the little buttons, which are gold plated with a crystal center. And she just actually added these to her stitch as she was weaving. She didn't add them after the fact. She just incorporated them right along as she was going. And they add a lot of punch to this, a lot of drama, really unique. Here's a piece of chain mail in progress. She used a couple different colors of the little buttons with crystals. And then she used a metal stud as well, which you'll see right here. Very interesting look right there. And this is a very simple earring, but does not look simple at all. Elegant as can be. And then on the back side, you'll see it's just jump rings combined with these studs and buttons. So let me start with the studs. They're very petite, which is fantastic. They're four millimeters by six millimeters, and they come in rhodium plate, black rhodium plate, and then gold plate. Over here, we've got the little mini studs which are nice and round and smooth. Let me put one up on my hand. It might be a little easier to see. And they're in the rhodium plate as well as the gold plate. Over here are some pearls. These are five millimeter in size. You can see they've got that nice bezel setting. So this uh, little piece of wire is just how they're contained, but they're all individual and loose. Then we've got some five millimeter crystal buttons. These feature Swarovski crystals, which is nice because they'll match all your other beads and pendants. And then these other ones that you see here on this side, which are gold plated and that I'm going to talk about in a second, the other side, which are rhodium plated, are all three millimeters. And let me take this opportunity to show you what an actual individual piece looks like. So here's the back side. So it's a nice finished smooth back with a ring. And then on the side is a bezel setting and in the center is a Swarovski crystal and these measure three millimeters. This color right here is fern green crystal. Crystal AB, Sunflower, Light Cyan. Let me pick this up so you can really see how it sparkles. Purple Velvet, just very rich and elegant. And then Jet. Then over on this other side, which is the rhodium plated three millimeter ones, we've got Crystal. It'd be a little hard to see on that white, but it's just a very nice crystal. And then here it is incorporated in the gold. Over here we could have done silver as well. Crystal AB. Now two pinks, rose and fuchsia. I'm going to hold these side by side because they're quite similar, just a little bit different. So the rose is a little bit lighter than the fuchsia. Fuchsia is a little bit more saturated. Then we've got purple velvet, Provence lavender, so pretty, aquamarine, capri blue. Over here we have olivine, sunflower, Light Cyan, Sun, Black Diamond, and Jet. A lot of different possibilities of what you can do with these. Consider them for bead weaving, bead embroidery, chain mail, stringing, a whole bunch of different things you can do with these, even setting them down into an epoxy clay, which would just be beautiful. You can find all of these as well as project ideas and tutorials for them at beadaholic.com.